What's happening? Andy here. I'm joined by Toby Weiss. Toby is the fiery CEO. How are you today, Toby? I'm great, Andy. Thanks so much. What's happening? What's happening? Thank you so much. What a what a great start to a, to an interview. Uh, an exciting day, exciting time for you guys. I couldn't wait to talk to you. Uh, last time I spoke to you, you had a, a very different role. You were working at this company called EFI, uh, who you are still kind of working for. But over the last couple of weeks, EFI has um, sort of split off Fiery from what I can understand. And I'd love to talk to you today about that. Um, Tell us what, what's happening at, at EFI and at Fiery and, and tell us about your new role. That's right. Thanks so much for asking, Annie. It's great to be with you and your audience today. So um, if you look at uh, EFI, we really had two businesses the last year. We had a business focused on industrial inkjet printing, and we had a business focused on Fiery, which is digital front ends uh, you know, for industrial, for commercial, for graphics. Um, and and they're really what we noticed is they're two different businesses. Uh, one of the businesses, you know, focused on, on industrial print, the other one's focused on DFEs. And every time you have a business and you're making a decision, you know, you're making that decision in, and maximize the value of your business. And I think what we realized is we really have two very strong businesses both uh, you know, financially very strong, both very strong market positions. Uh, and so it made sense, really just given the amount that we have to do, the messages that we wanna to deliver to maximize the value, to create two companies out of it. And so we spun off and created uh, Fiery, uh, which I am uh, really delighted. I get the privilege to lead an amazing team. Uh, and so Fiery has become its own company. And that's that's really the message there. And it's for us, it's, it's all about focus and delivering value to our customers, our partners, our dealers, and, and you know, EFI is the same way. It, it's it's amazing to me. We kind of talked about it earlier before we started uh, started recording. So I'll, I'll share those thoughts again. But you know, we remember Fiery from its early days, and and you know they um, funded the expansion and the and the growth of what has become uh, you know had become almost a billion dollar. I don't know. I, I think you were dancing around. It. You might have crossed it at one point, but about a billion dollar industry, right? A billion dollar company, I should say. And and so to see it kind of come back to its roots and spin off on its own. Um, very exciting because that did start, you know, I'd say in our channel, in, in the channel that that my um, my readers and, and followers uh, are, are, you know, part of, right? So Fiery um, has been an intricate part of, of the dealer community. And, and, and honestly, um, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on, on going forward. What does this mean for uh, for the dealer community, for big dealers, small dealers, uh, and for their customers who are going to be, you know, continuing to use your products going forward. Uh, thank you, Andy. I think first you're right. I mean, that their fiery does have a special place in the industry, going back to the origins where it really turned copy machines into network digital printers. And, you know, not just EFI, the company was born, uh, but I think a, a huge part of digital imaging, um, you mentioned kind of the size of EFI, but if you look at the fiery business, for example, you know, it's included inside of digital printers, bundled with digital printers, uh, selected by end customers. And then those printers have a big value that obviously the consumables, the service and everything. So at one point I had measured kind of like what really is the value of the entire industry that, that fiery serves and it's, it's multi-billions. Uh, and it's a very, very, very large part of uh, the industry. And, and, you know, we've always been very, very proud of that and, and take that responsibility very seriously. I think that ties into kind of what's in front of us now, because we look at Fiery and, you know, the growth potential that it has and, and think that it can be uh, enormous. Uh, we, you know, we love our partners, we love our dealers, uh, and there's really no shortage of opportunity. I think when people think about Fiery, they think about the digital front end that might come with a 70 to 150, you know, page per minute printer. Uh, but if you're a dealer, uh, you know, you might not know that we're also a leader in direct to film and direct to garment in apparel printing in wide format uh, and all of these different areas. And if you look at the end customers, you know, every time I go into a, a print shop or a print room, you know, there's more than just uh, a cut sheet production printer there. There's a lot of opportunity. And this goes back to, you know, some of the reasons why to be a separate company and to be a standalone company, uh, which is, you know, we have a lot to talk about. 
uh, and we have a lot to focus on. And we really, really want to bring a lot of value to the dealer. So, you know, if I'm a dealer, uh, you know, what, what, what message does Toby want to give uh, to you? Uh, well, I think first off, there, you know, there's a great, great opportunity in front of us. Um, certainly, you know, there's some headwinds uh, going on. We all know about inflation. We all know about the cost of paper. Uh, we all know about maybe customers worried about interest rates or capital equipment purchasing. Um, but with that said, you know, those create a lot of opportunities. Customers are looking to consolidate their equipment in some cases. A lot of them are going to e-commerce. Right. We've all gotten used to that. And so they want, you know, equipment that can be automated. They want to know that the job can be done right. Customers don't necessarily have the same skills available to them. The labor market's tight. And so having technology that is going to work out of the box is going to give a great result is very automated and the support that we provide. You know, you have a new person in your shop. I think fire is always, you know, treated, we love operators too. And the amount of training that we have, the certifications and the fiery field support team, that's always there for the dealers. Uh, you know, we pride ourselves on, on being able to take a call uh, and, and help someone out. And so, you know, this for us is about going back to our roots. Uh, and, and, and now it, there's just an enormous opportunity out there for us. And, and we want to help the dealers uh, and our partners capture it. So moving forward, you're going to have, um, I, I would say, obviously, much more focus on the dealer channel. And it's not like you you really didn't before, um, but, you know, with all the different areas of fire, I did sometimes uh, a VFI, you know, you, you could say you could make an argument that fiery kind of uh, would get swallowed up in it a little bit. And and so now to be able to sort of break it away and have it all focused on fiery, um, I just think is really uh you know, like you said, getting back to roots, getting back to where, where it all started, where it all came from. And, you know, the dealers, uh, they've been using you guys for 20 plus years at this point. And, and, you know, you were the original, one of the original connectors to make everything digital when we had analog equipment. Right. And I think a lot of people, um, and a lot of your competitors went away, uh, when, when the manufacturers, the printer manufacturers got good at making their own controllers, but you guys had always been able to sort of stay above that and say, yeah, your controller is really good for a lot of office printing, but, and how did you um, carve that out going, you know, in, in the past, you, you broke it down into graphics and you broke it down into commercial print. Um, where did, where did um, Fiery sort of, uh, I think, or in, in EFI, where, 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 where did you guys take that product um, and how did you sort of avoid that collapse that, you know, the rest of the industry, uh, your competitors really experienced back in the, in the nineties and two thousands, you know, when, when, when it was booming and then all of a sudden, you know, once those manufacturers made their own, you guys, a lot of your competitors didn't make it. How, how did you guys get beyond that? I think the team did a great job in, in really being focused on, you know, the end customer and, and what do they want. And, um, you know, when you, we ask customers, you know, what they want, we're, we're just thinking about digital front end. Uh, that's all we are. We're not talking to them about fusers. We're not talking to them about their, their click charge. You know, we're, we're really talking to them about, you know, what is their workflow? What do they need to get out of it? And they're always telling us they want exceptional color. They want high performance. They want it integrated in with the rest of their shop. Uh, and they want great support. And, and so, you know, I think for us, it's, it's just being maniacal uh, about that. Um, you know, you're right. A lot of people have tried to build a digital front end. It's really hard. It's frankly, really, really difficult to build a good one. I think we have the scale because we work on so many printers and so many devices that, you know, we just get a little bit more experience. Uh, we have more resource. We're a little bit more, more focused on it. As you pointed out, you know, the, 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 a lot of the controllers are really just focused on office printing. And when you get into wanting to do something in production, neither doesn't work as well. Or, you know, in order to get it to work, it's like 65 steps and, and not intuitive. And we've just always wanted to give customers something that, that works well. I think a lot of times about the thermostat on my heater in my house, even though I live in California, it gets a little chilly sometimes here in the mornings. Uh, and, uh, you know, you look at something like Nest and you say, you know, it just works well. It's easy to use. It's intuitive, right? Anyone can probably make a thermostat. Um, but, you know, people are, are willing to pay just a little bit more to get one that's great and for their needs. And, you know, we look at Fiery as that way. We, we know that when you're printing for a living, 
how how effectively you do that and the tools that you have and how easy and when you have a question when you go online and ask the question and you can see the answer all those things really really matter uh, and they pay for themselves you know at, at the end of the day so we've we've focused on that and our partners have embraced it too you know they're 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 in the business of of you know selling printers and, and getting consumables and clicks and service and, and their customers ask for fiery uh, and you know we value that partnership a lot with them too now you, you're obviously legendary in commercial print, production print in, in that area. Are are your do you see opportunities in the general office still? Is that a place where where you guys are still able to play and 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 offer some opportunity for the dealers? I think in the high end of the office we are. You know, I mean, if you're a um, you know big office. Uh, you know, big corporate client, you're probably sending out some part of your print and it's costing you money. And the idea that you could buy, um, you know, a printer from one of our partners, and by the way, the, the new printers at the high end of the office are amazing, the capabilities they have, and you really can do exceptional quality work and you can bring it in house. And so, you know, there's deals that come all the time, thousands and thousands of units, frankly, uh, you know, where a customer might say, you know, instead of sending out my, my work for, you know, whatever, real estate brochures, business cards or flyers or, you know, posters or banners or anything, um, you know, I can just get a printer uh, in my office with just the slightest bit of training and I can save myself a ton of money. That's a common theme. I mean, this, this, sometimes the work is outsourced because people want to focus. Sometimes it comes back in because they want to save money. And, you know, dealers sort of asking that question, investing a little bit of time on the larger companies, I think can, can really make a difference. I know I've, I've given that message to the dealers before. And, you know, some of them ping me and say, we had a nice win. Uh, you know, we just added, uh, you know, $50,000, $100,000 more than, than we thought we were going to get. Uh, you know, from a deal by, by doing something like that. So that's uh, absolutely uh, uh, a case. Also, I think if I look at offices, um, they have other needs too. You know, I, you see a lot of uh, apparel, you know, offices buy t-shirts, offices buy uh, mugs. Uh, you know, one of, the, one of the really neat things, it might not be selling directly to the office, um, you know, but there's a lot of services available now where you could sell personalized things from, you know, swag almost from your own company and you don't need to do anything. You know, you, you just sort of connect to some of these companies and you can sell t-shirts with your logo. You can sell hats, you can sell mugs, uh, you know, so on and so forth. And, and that is a big opportunity. So we have a lot of companies that we deal with uh, to be able to, um, you know, provide that, that print on demand for that. So um, apparel's blowing up, direct to garment, direct to film, uh, all this personalization, even engraving actually, uh, you know, as a business we have, we don't talk about it very much, but, you know, if someone's buying a watch, they go online, they, they want it engraved, guess what? That's, you know, our technology behind the scenes. So I think offices pull a lot of those products uh, from, from print for pay, but within the office, there's still a good opportunity too. Well, you know, it's funny you mentioned garment printing. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but it's, you're not the only company these guys are hearing it from, right? They're, um, they're hearing it from several of their other vendors that are kind of getting into that, some at very different levels, right? And, 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 and the Reggiani stuff I've seen uh, from you guys at, at, at previous Connect conferences that I've been at, monstrous machines. I mean, so the, the span of what's available out there is really um, just start. It's, it's, you know, you've got everything from the very, very low end um, transfer uh, technology just to, and, and, and I've seen some of it. Um, I think I had a tour of your is it New Hampshire, up in New Hampshire, you have a facility. Um, That's right. EFI yes, is an office. So it was there. Um, I mean, just big, big, big machines. And, and, and it's really pretty amazing to see these things running. Uh, before I let you go, I do want to talk about DX, you know, everybody's digital transformation. What's everybody doing with it and, and um, kind of getting the message, uh, from across the industry, it's on everyone's website. I'm sure it's uh, front and center on yours at some point. And, and you've been talking about it a long time, but you know, what are the opportunities for you guys going forward with the whole movement in, in, in you know, classifying digital transformation as DX? And um, what's the strategy like for you guys and how do the dealers fit in there? We've always been about digital. I mean, for us, it's been 100% digital all the time, you know, and so 
uh, we go in and, and look and say, you know, what are the opportunities for for digitalization? And, uh, you know, for us, that, that's that been our sweet spot forever. Um, there's still a tremendous amount, believe it or not, of, you know, offset work and, and it's coming crashing down, uh, right? Because people can't find the, the people to run the equipment. Um, you know, people don't want to have the inventory. Inventory, you know, that is, is, is cash that's tied up. People want to do on demand. They want to do personalized. And so that's, that's just been all we've done forever since day one. Um, and we really view ourselves as the enabler, right? That the technology and the staff and the know-how to help our customers, our partners, you know, our OEMs, uh, you know, and their customers, uh, you know, through that, through that transition. It, it, it means different things to different, you know, companies. Uh, right. For sure. And there's some super neat technology out there from devices that are, you know, translating and, and marking test scores and, you know, all, all that kind of stuff. Well, and, up and to now like posters, get... right? I've seen at, at your Back to Connect, I've seen, I remember one year you had giant size, you know, wall size posters that had some sort of embedded technology in them that was able to see who was walking by. Am I crazy? Am I remembering this? You had like. No, we had. Yeah, that was a neat thing. And like and hybrid digital actually... met hard copy, right? It was yeah, that's right. We have some other technology as well, where, um, you know, if for signage, for example, inside yes. of stores and you tie it to mobile apps uh, so that, you know, customers, it's not a QR code, but literally the whole image, uh, you know, that it can recognize these days because, you know, the AI technology is so amazing. Um, and, uh, you know, you can do a lot like that and, and tie things into to retail. But I mean, we're working on some really big projects where we're, you know, it's not about print, it's about a customized good coming off of a manufacturing line. Uh, and, you know, I know when people think about Fiery, they think about that cut sheet controller, but it's really, it's a lot about personalization. It's about, about that digital uh, journey, you know, um, and, and literally people have, as I was saying before, they, you can have websites selling products now that the product doesn't exist uh, until the person hits click. Um, and I think what we'll see in the future, you got a lot of excitement around chat GPT and all of that. Okay. You'll see marketing content be created on the fly, not just the actual ordering and the creating of the product, uh, but, you know, everything, even the content within there, I think is going to start to be created on the fly. And it's going to be a, a super exciting time for, for our industry, for those that embrace it. Uh, you know, there'll always be those that talk about print is dying or this or that. But, uh, you know, the future looks bright from where we stand. Yeah, I would say um, the print is dying message. Uh, maybe it, it's a little premature. Uh, there's, there's, and especially when you come to some of your conferences that I've been doing in the past, where because I do, you know, I'm very office focused and 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 a little production. But when I come to a show like yours, I see things that you know, and 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 shows from some of your partners that I've been to. Um, you know, when Canon used to have the big Canon expos and you'd see everything in the world that they did. And, you know, Rico does a lot of big shows and the dealer shows I've been to in the past from, you know, HP and Xerox and all of them. Um, there is one common factor is you, you know, when you do these big connect shows every, every, and now it's EPS owns connect. I keep talking about someone else's show, but it was your show. And, 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 but one thing that always struck me is pretty amazing was, I mean, I can't remember anyone who wasn't at that show, right. Who didn't have a, a booth and it was literally all the hardware manufacturers that were playing in that, in that, um, in that space. So you still work with all of them, if I'm correct. Yes. We, we do. Absolutely. And, you know, to, to your point, uh, you know, if you walk into an office, uh, you know, any dealer who walks into an office and you just look around the office and you see everything that's printed, you know, sometimes there's glass walls on the conference rooms. And they've got, you know, signage, uh, you know, people might not be handing out as many business cards as they did before, but, you know, nobody wants to, for example, order, you know, 20,000 training manuals. They, you know, people are working remote and this and that, but they're, they're ordering a few for the, you know, and, and that means it's digital. That means it's on demand. And that means they can do it in-house. They can do it cheap. You, you know, I see you got a cool what's happening hat. I think you're wearing right there, right? That was probably uh, digitally printed. It's going to be my guess, uh, you know, as well. And so there's just, um, you know, all over the place. I think there's opportunity. Office printing got hit hard. There's just no doubt about that. And I think everyone's hungry and looking for the new opportunities and they are around. They are around. Absolutely. Yeah. And you guys are, are a great example that print is not always just that document, um, you know, that is coming out of that A3, A4 printer. Print is all over the place. And 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 I think I think our followers are, are you know, our, our um, people watching this video, they, 
there's a lot of opportunity out there right outside of the, the traditional document and you and just a, a quick visit to their website i will have a link in in the uh uh description of the video uh for to, to get there but there's you can see on that website there is just so much out there that is not in, in that traditional office so toby this has been an absolute pleasure thank you so much for taking the time and, and chat with us and telling us um, you know, everything going on and what's happening, as you said, with uh, with EFI, with Fiery. And congratulations on your new role. Say hi to Jeff. Uh, Jacob, uh, Jeff, Jeff is now the, um, he's the board, what is he, uh, chairman? Jeff Jacobson took the role of executive chairman. So he's yeah. the executive chairman of, of Fiery. He's also the executive chairman of uh, EFI. And, and you know, that's great. Jeff has such great industry insights and, and, yes. and you know, it's such a great, you know, leader and, and mentor. And he's looking forward to this new role. And I'm looking forward to this new role. And everyone on Team Fiery is looking forward to, uh, to things as well. Well, this has been great. Thanks so much for spending time with us. And we will catch up with you soon. Thank you. Thanks so much.